Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. All right, today I am in an area that is also known as the Chinatown of Ho Chi Minh City. So we're going to have a look around here today, see if it's yeah different compared to the areas of Ho Chi Minh City that we have explored in the previous videos. Hello. Um, okay, I can't read it obviously. Uh, what do you sell? A mixed mixed juice here. Can. Juice. You can uh, mix something. What can you recommend? Carrot and orange. Carrot and orange, that's good? Yes. Yes? Okay. Then one please. So we're getting orange and carrot here. Ah, so you have fresh juice here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering what else they are selling here. I think they also have some food here. But I think we're going to get some food later. Not at the beginning now, I'm just uh, very thirsty now. Just had a 20 minute uh, scooter ride through the city to get here. And here we're getting the, the carrot juice. Let's see how much. So I gave 50, let's see how much change I will get. Okay, and I get 20 back, so that's 30,000 for a big shake here. A big fruit juice. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so um, carrot and orange. Actually, that's a very good combination, I think. Oh, very delicious and very healthy. Okay, that's a good start here. I'm always moving towards the zebra crossings, but actually they don't mean anything here. They are just a street decoration. But, okay, now there's a chance to cross. Okay. Yeah, I know there's a Chinese temple somewhere around here that I'm trying to find for some reason. I'm having a little bit of a problem now because the internet on my phone is not working anymore suddenly. So I'm just realizing how lost I am without any internet. I'm not sure, like I bought a SIM card at the airport when I arrived here. It was like 80 GB for two weeks. So no way I used already 80 GB. But yeah, I have no connection. Yeah, now I'm realizing how much dependent I am from the internet, because without internet I can't even look for directions. And without internet I, I'm not sure how to get home. <laughs> because usually I just get a grab, but you need internet for order one, right? Okay, we're gonna figure out later. First, uh, yeah, let me navigate around town without any internet now. Um, maybe let me uh, cross the street over there. Because I think I have to go in this direction. Or oh, actually, I can walk in the middle here. Oh, 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 the chaos here is intense. Okay. Ah. Yeah, what I usually do to avoid situations like this, um, if you have Google Maps, you can download the, the, the maps for certain areas so that you can use it also without internet connection. Unfortunately, I somehow forgot to do this for Ho Chi Minh City. That means my Google Maps is not working now. Without internet, it's not working, so I can't see anything. But okay. It's not my first time traveling without internet, so we will figure that out somehow. So this looks like a local market area here, where they sell all kinds of stuff. Some fresh vegetables, fruits, or even chicken and ducks. You can buy chicken and ducks here, right on the road. Oh, you can buy chickens everywhere here. Just by the side of the road, you can get yourself some chickens or some ducks. I also saw some ducks over there. To be honest, I'm wondering. The chickens are also uh, so quiet, just sitting there. You know, I'm wondering if they uh, they get some. Some drugs or something like that to calm them down, but otherwise it looks uh, surprisingly that the chickens just sitting there so calm by the side of the big noisy road, you know. Uh. Ooh, there's a little park here, which is uh, yeah, good for a little break from uh, from the busy roads, from the traffic around here. Yeah, it can get a little bit um, stressful for the head if you're walking around this insane traffic here for for hours for a whole day 
sometimes uh, it's good to to take a little break from it and that's what I love so far about Ho Chi Minh City that you have a lot of green areas like this in the middle of the city where you can actually take a little break you know oh, there's even some water here all the trees around oh, but unfortunately now my my juice is finished already Hello, may I help you, sir? This is Chinese herbal tea. Uh, that is a herbal tea. Ah, okay. Yeah. This makes you cool down your body. Cool down the body? Yeah. Oh, that's very good because it's very hot here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Does it taste sweet or bitter? Yeah. Does it taste sweet or is it bitter? Uh, a, li a little sweet. A little sweet? Yeah. Okay, can I get one bottle? Do you, you want a uh, bottle? Uh, I have a, uh, what is the other option? Yeah, yeah. Uh, to, to drink here? And a bottle have a uh, cold and hot. Ah, this one I can drink here? Yeah. Yeah, okay, can I get one? Yeah, yeah please. Oh. Um, just uh, stumbled up on this little uh, shop here. And uh, I drank herbal tea before in uh, Malaysia, for example. Ah, how much is this? Uh, 10,000. 10,000? Okay. I have 20 here. Okay. You drink it like this? Like oh. this? Oh, I spilled a little bit already. <laughs> ah, thank you. Uh, no problem. Okay. Ah, so you get uh, like a bowl here to drink it. Mm. Oh yeah, it's very good. Definitely uh, more sweet than bitter, which is uh, good. Also, the bitter one is also not that bad. Oh, I like it. It's very good. Very good. Oh, I think I would like to get a bottle as well. Yeah. A bottle for takeaway. Yeah. One of the bottles. I would like to have a bottle as well. Yeah, you know, you want a bottle? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cold, cold. Oh. I, I take home. Okay. It's very good. In case you're wondering how it looks like. Something going on here. It looks a little bit like uh, like Coca-Cola. Oh, he's uh, having some herbal tea on the motorbike. Just stopping by here for a quick tea break. Oh, well, very good. I'm from Germany. 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 Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. This is a uh, Chinatown here, right? Yeah, which is Chinatown. It's okay. So I can also find Chinese food. Chinese food? Yeah. You can go. Uh, you can go try. Uh, you, uh, you turn the right. Turn right. Chang di. Chang Chang di. And then right here. You turn okay. right. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ah, that was interesting. They have like a little stall here, and one, two, three, four, five people working on the little stall here. So it must be a good. Good business having five people working on a little stall like this. Nice to see that. So he recommended to turn right here to find some Chinese food. Oh. Does he really mean this this street? Or does he mean the next one? <laughs> Not sure if there's gonna be a Chinese restaurant here. <laughs> To be honest, I don't think so. We have a hotel here. Oh, maybe he was talking about this place. Hello. We have food here? You have uh, Chinese food? Okay, maybe he means this restaurant. Let's see what we have here. I don't think... Chinese food? Ah, here. Um, Ah, it's even in English here. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the crispy rice noodles, the vegetables. Okay, let's try Chinese food here in Vietnam. Ah, thank you so much. Cheers. Okay, this is uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce and this one. Ah, a little bit of sauce here. So yeah, the food has arrived. And it uh, looks like this. So I'm not sure what this is to be honest. It is a vegetarian dish this time so I ordered without um, any meat actually yeah I was ordering crispy noodles that was was the, the menu set I think crispy noodles so are these the noodles because other than that I don't see any noodles here so we have vegetables we have um, yeah some some gravy here maybe some sauce mm. wow. wow actually it's very good Oh yeah, what is this here? Mm. Are these the noodles? Must be, right? Because other than that, there are no noodles here. So, I think I've never seen noodles like this. 
Mm. Very crispy. It was very good actually. I'm very surprised. Mm. And then together with the sauce here. Oh wow. So the full plate looks like this. A lot of these crispy noodles here with the vegetables, the sauce. I can also use some of this here. So I put some of the sauce in here. And then we can also dip it in here. Mm. Oh, very salty. I think it might be oyster sauce, to be honest. Salty, delicious, adds another flavor to it. Oh, this is very, very nice and so unexpected. Did you think that we can find an amazing meal when we entered the street here? Didn't look like a, like a street with a proper restaurant, you know? How much is it? Uh, 68. 50, 70. That's okay. Okay, thank you. So yeah, what I usually do, whenever you see interesting locations in my videos, there's usually a Google Maps link in the description. So I will also leave a link to this place here. Um, on Oh, okay, that was unexpected. Um, and yeah, now it's getting dark already. Okay, but to be honest, the area doesn't look as Chinese as, for example, the Chinatown in Bangkok, where you see way more like Chinese temples, Chinese characters written all over the place. And as I'm saying that, there are Chinese characters actually written over there. So some places do have Chinese characters, but if I'm completely honest, if I wouldn't know this is the Chinatown of Ho Chi Minh City and I would, I would just walk, randomly walking around here, I don't think I would uh, notice that. Of course, you have these uh, Chinese uh, tea places that we saw. And we have burgers here. Oh, street food burgers. Always tempting. Oh. Okay, so little food stalls here and there. Oh, this is a proper Chinese shop here with Chinese characters. Oh, I just stumbled up on this little alley here that looks very uh, unique and interesting. I think this is a local neighborhood here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this street looks very unique, doesn't it? A little side alley off from the, from the main road here. It's uh, end over there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Very beautiful here. Very beautiful. <laughs> Looks nice. <laughs> ah. I'm always trying to um, to get talking or to uh, start a conversation with the, with the locals. But uh, you maybe noticed in my videos already from Vietnam, it's a little bit more difficult here than it is, for example, in the Philippines, where I have been recently, where English has never been a problem. But here, yeah, I'm sure all these locals, they are very friendly and would like to talk to me as well. Usually, um, the locals always are always curious to talk to foreigners, but uh, it's a little bit more of a problem here. So, yeah, unfortunately, I should learn some Vietnamese next time I come here. All right, and here we are back on the busy main road. Ah, this was uh, the entrance to the street. Looks really uh, hidden. I'm wondering what the, the signs are saying here. Maybe someone can translate it in the comment section. Maybe that's the name of the road. And then you have a beautiful little alley hidden over there. Oh, it's very beautiful. Yeah. What is the, the name of the road here? Uh, the name of the road? Uh, uh, it's called Hasebrook Street. Uh, is, this, uh, is this the name of the street? Uh, yeah, oh. it's from uh, China people. Uh, uh, I've lived here for a long time. Uh, so it's a Chinese uh, community uh, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, oh, our neighborhoods are all yeah. Chinese. They are speak Chinese with their daughters. Yeah, okay. Uh, yes, we are like um, this is very family. Yeah, yeah. This is upstairs. Oh, I can go upstairs. Uh, yeah, you can go upstairs. Oh. Around and see. Okay, then let's go back and check out the upstairs area as well. Oh, he was very friendly and he spoke English. So that's always nice if you meet a local that does speak English here. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, it does look actually very nice from above here as well. Oh, have a look. Okay, so he said it's a Chinese community here. So, oh yeah, now I actually see it looks Chinese here as well. Chinese characters. 
Hmm. Let's have a look. Oh, hello. Hello. You have a beautiful neighborhood here. Looks very nice. <laughs> over there? Oh, maybe he means uh, over there is somebody who speaks English. Oh, but he was smiling, so that something nice. Oh. Hmm? Hello. And you don't have to be afraid to uh, enter local neighborhoods where maybe tourists don't usually go to because usually that's my experience after traveling around Southeast Asia for over three years. People are never um, rude or unfriendly. I never had one experience where somebody in these local neighborhoods has been rude or unfriendly to me. Usually these people are very welcoming and curious and like to speak to you. Hmm. Oh, it does look actually very nice here. Very interesting. Okay, I switched to my phone now because the footage in the dark looks much better on my phone. And it looks nice with the pink sky in the background now because the sun has just set. And then, uh, yeah, this beautiful little alley here. Oh. Yeah, in case you're wondering, this is the camera with which I usually film my videos. DJI Osmo Action 1, this tiny little thing here. But yeah, now I'm switching to the phone because yeah, you can see the phone actually has a much better quality in the, in the dark. Wow, this looks so picturesque here, right? And then uh, you have these houses. I don't want to film inside the houses, but if you walk by here, you can of course see inside the houses because yeah they all have these uh, windows right here but yeah i don't want to point my camera inside someone's house right here and then down there the alley hello xin chào oh. curious what he's doing here ah, can i have a look oh, okay okay maybe this is something uh, something religious that he's doing i think whatever he's burning there has a has a smell it smells really nice that looks very beautiful it's very beautiful, yeah. yeah. With the sky. Yeah. Yeah, I took a nice picture uh, here. You are traveling? You are traveling? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm from Germany. Oh, okay. What what are you selling here? Um carrying like um You have some uh, uh, we have coffees and food. Coffee, it's a little bit uh, too late for coffee now. Yes. If uh, I drink coffee, coffee now. Oh. Oh, maybe let me uh, let me uh, try something. Have, uh, uh, mm. cheese, what can you cheese. recommend? I would like to try something that is uh, um, if you want milk teas or teas, we have milk teas, teas and... Milk tea? Uh, milk tea? Milk tea. Milk tea, yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Mm. We have a lot of, like, um, a lot of things to eat. Oh, you, you put something inside the yeah. tea? Ah, like this, yeah, yeah, okay. Put a lot of things into it. Okay, you just uh, make me one, surprise uh, me. Yeah. Just, uh, 30 Vietnam, no. Yeah, just uh, the best tea that you have. Okay. The, the best seller. The best seller. Uh, English. Pearl? Yeah, okay. Okay. Two kinds of pearl. We have two kinds of pearl. Oh. This is uh, soft and this is a little bit hard. Okay, this is the soft one? The soft one. It's like a, like a bubble tea then? Oh, yes. Yeah, like okay. Okay. And yeah, after that, I think uh, it's almost time for me to head back home. But yeah, you remember, I still don't have internet. So we have to see how I'm going to solve the problem. Because to be honest, I don't see regular taxis here on the, on the streets. I don't think the taxis are that popular here in Mochi City. I also don't see a motorbike taxi driver other than the Grab guys. So uh, yeah, but first uh, enjoy the tea and then we see how I will be able to get home. Because it's a little bit too far to walk back to my hotel. Okay. Just uh, 30. You know, 30,000? Like, okay. 30, 30. No. 30,000. Uh, sweet, yeah. Sweet, uh, sweet multi cheese. 
how do you say delicious in Vietnamese? Delicious? No. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. Keep, keep. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you for flight planning me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I have an idea how I'm going to uh, solve the internet problem now. Actually, do you have uh, internet? My uh, my internet is not working, and I need to get a Grab taxi. Uh, Grab taxi? Yeah. Can you maybe uh, your hotspot? Um, which one? Uh, which places do you want to go? I want to go to my hotel. Hotel? Oh, no. uh, do you know? I, I don't see taxis here. Um, you need to take a grab because uh, taxi is very list here. Oh, this, so you recommend to take a grab? Uh, yes. Grab okay. Because but um, my internet not working. Walking. You have a hotspot? Um, yeah. You have uh, Wi-Fi? Can, yeah, Wi-Fi. Okay. okay. Maybe let's see if he can help me out to a hotspot here so that I can uh, call the grab. Okay, so maybe I can tell you what I would do without his help now. If you're in a situation in a foreign country and you desperately need internet, search for places like Starbucks, McDonald's, KFC, or any other proper cafe. They usually have internet. So usually if you walk into a Starbucks or to any regular cafe... Oh, oh thank you so much. Um, let me finish the sentence. So usually cafes, fast food places, they always have free internet. So that would have been my... Um, my next option. But yeah, he gave me um, Wi-Fi now, so I will use this now to head home. Here yeah, I got a bike, 29,000. Back to my hotel. Let's see how quick I will get one. Uh, you can take bike. It's more um, like cheaper than. Yeah, I, I always take the bike, and it's more fast with the with it's faster with the traffic. Oh, okay, I have a bike. Yeah, actually, it's fast. Oh, okay. I think this is the, the guy. Oh. Hello? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, he sees me. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Come on. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hello. Yes, that's me. Correct. Okay. If you are curious to see the previous episode where we explored another area of Michigan City, check it out right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.